What's up guys, it's Jack Price Films, and welcome to my third movie review which focuses on a movie I saw last night called Ghost in the Show, with Scarlett Johansson, directed by Rupert Sanders. Ghost in the Show, was it good or bad? It was good. I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10. I didn't think it was amazing, but it's good. Now, I probably would have thought it was amazing if I was a 90s kid growing up and knowing a little bit more about it, because I come to realize that Ghost in the Shell was originally a 1995 film created in Japan, and it was based off of that anime and comic, so if I was a 90s kid, I would understand it and be a fan of it and actually be into it a lot more, but I'm not saying it was horrible. I loved it. It was good. And I'm going to give you these three reasons on why it was so good, and why you need to go see it. Number one, the robots. I like how this movie not only focused on the main characters, but also focused on all the other city people. And I'm telling you, they were all so gorgeous to look at. All these robots had a different look to them, they each had a different position. You had robotic geishas. That's something I've always wanted to see, since I've had a fascination with Asian culture. I mean, these were pretty cool to look at, and especially the way they, uh, they moved. It was just really awesome seeing that. Uh, it looked very realistic, and you had other robots who were in the position of uh, police. Robot police who were holding these ginormous guns. You had many other robots who walked around and not all of them were complete robots. You had people with robotic stuff when they were walking around in the city. They'd have these holographic things in front of their face. You had some robots who were half human and half of it was a cyborg. I mean, you had all these different robots that were just that were just so incredible. I'm, I'm, I'm speechless. I don't know what else to say about them, but it was absolutely insane. Number two, the futuristic city in this movie. This movie did such an excellent job on making the city look so futuristic as possible. It's not even funny what you what, what like what you look at. It's absolutely gorgeous and. I don't know what year it was in. I'm, it said it was in the midst of the 20, 22nd century, I think, but it looked like it was in the year 2232 or something, but I think it's great because, I mean, making something futuristic like this in a movie can really predict and depict what our future cities could look like in the future. It's the year of 2017 now, and I think in the next 30 or 40 years from now, things are going to get a little more futuristic and more crazy and modern. I mean, in this movie they had holographic people that were coming out of buildings and it just, all of it you could look at real slowly. Like, take a look at this picture right here. Wow, it is just, you look in the background, you, you see everything, you see the cars, you see every building you can look at that has to do with eating, business, the government, all of it was just amazing to look at day and night in the movie. And it just, it blew me away. It, it felt like I was in a video game, almost. It, it literally felt like I was in a video game. So, definitely futuristic city. Uh, it, it looked real. It didn't look fake. It looked like you were actually in it. Number three, Scarlett Johansson. Now, I've been seeing a lot of negative reviews on her um, because of it being whitewashed, just because she's white and she's the lead role in this movie. I have absolutely no problem with her playing the lead role in this movie. I mean, would it have been better with a Japanese woman instead? Mm, in my opinion, probably not. I think it's way better if this American girl played the lead role in futuristic Japan. That'd make things even more interesting connecting with all these other Japanese people. So 
I don't know why so much people are giving hate on her, but I think she was perfect for the role. She's been in many other action movies, all the Marvel Avenger movies, and um, Lucy, for example, which was totally outstanding. Um, she's just becoming, she's got that cybernetic feel to her. She's got that action feel. She's a pretty good action actress, and if she's the lead role in this movie, it's definitely worth seeing her play this role because she was so into it. She had that robotic feel to her when you heard her speak, and she was just into her character. But all in all, guys, Ghost in the Shell is a gorgeous, action, thrilling roller coaster that'll blow you away. It's good. 8 out of 10. Go see it. Anyway, guys, that's the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe over here, because you won't want to miss any of it. And don't forget to subscribe over here to watch all my films, Jack's Price Films. Anyway guys, don't forget to leave this video a huge thumbs up, a positive comment. Have a great day guys.